Class 6 Maths Chapter 4 Basic Geometrical Ideas Animated Math Introduction The term geometry is the English equivalent of the Greek word geometron. Geo means earth and metron means measurement. Let us learn some interesting facts that will help us know more about shapes. Points When we mark a dot with the sharp tip of a pencil on the paper, it can be called as a point. A point determines a location. If we mark three points on a paper, we need to distinguish them. Therefore, we name them with capital letters. The following are examples of the point. A line segment. A line which has two definite end points is called a line segment. We can see many examples of a line segment. A thread, a tube light, edge of a book, etc. We can draw a line segment on a paper by drawing two points and then joining them in the shortest possible way. A line. If the line segment AB extends indefinitely, we call it a line AB. Sometimes a line can also be denoted by L. Intersecting lines. Two distinct lines which meet at any point in the plane are known as intersecting lines. For example, below are two lines L1 and L2 which meet each other in P. So we can say that lines L1 and L2 intersect at P. Some more examples of intersecting lines are alphabet X, T, etc. Parallel lines. Two lines in a plane which do not meet each other are known as parallel lines. If two lines L1 and L2 are parallel, we write as L1 is parallel to L2. Examples of parallel lines are ruler, rail lines, Edges of compass box, etc. Ray. A ray is a portion of the light. It starts at one point and goes endlessly in a direction. A ray AP is shown in the diagram below. A ray of light, sun rays, etc. are examples of rays. Curves. Any drawing done without lifting the pencil is called the curve. Examples of curves are shown below. Simple curve. If a curve does not cross itself, then it is called a simple curve. Closed curve. A curve which is not simple is a closed curve. The examples of closed curve can be a boundary of the house, boundary of a book, etc. The interior of a curve along with its boundary is called its region. Polygons. A closed figure made up entirely of line segments is called a polygon. It is named according to the number of sides it possesses. A three-sided polygon is a triangle. A four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. A five-sided polygon is a pentagon. Similarly, hexagon has six sides. Heptagon has seven sides. Octagon has eight sides. Nanogon has nine sides. And decagon has ten sides. In the figure given below, AB, BC, CD, DE and EA are the sides of a polygon. A, B, C, D, E are the vertices of the polygon. Angles. When two rays have a common end point, then we will call it an angle. Two rays forming an angle are called arms of the angle. The common end point is called the vertex of the angle. Triangles. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. It is a polygon with least number of sides. A triangle has nine parts. It has three vertices, three angles, and three sides. Triangles. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. It is a polygon with least number of sides. A triangle has nine parts. It has three vertices, three angles, and three sides. In the figure given below, A, B, C are the three vertices. A, B, B, C and A, C are the three sides. Angle A, angle B, angle C are the three angles. The region enclosed by the triangle is its interior and the region excluded by the triangle is its exterior. Quadrilaterals Quadrilateral is a closed figure bounded by four sides such that no two line segments cross over each other. It has four sides and four angles. Its vertices are named in a cyclic manner. The figure below is a quadrilateral. Its four vertices are A, B, C and D. Its four sides are AB, BC, CD and DA. A pair of adjacent sides are AB 
and BC. A pair of opposite sides are AB and DC. Angle A and angle C are a pair of opposite angles. Angle A and angle B are a pair of adjacent angles. Concept of interior and exterior region is same as triangle. Circle A circle is a simple closed curve with no sides. The figure below is a circle with center C. The distance around the circle is called its circumference. The line segment which joins the center with circle is called its radius. The diameter is a line segment which has both the end points on the circle, but it passes through the center of the circle. Diameter is equal to 2 into radius. Diameter is the longest chord of the circle. A chord of a circle is a line segment which joins any two points on the circumference of the circle. Any diameter divides the circle into two semicircles. An arc is a portion of the circle.